morning students hope you are safe and staying at home now without giving examination you are in the ninth standard and from today we are going to start our science last year you were having only one paper of science that is for 50 marks now you have to go appear for the examination for two papers of science science 1 and science 2 the syllabus is given given in your book for 1 to 10 letter lessons are there for first term out of that 1 to 5 lessons they are for science 1 and 6 to 10 le lessons are for science 2 and they are asked for 40 40 marks each science 1 paper is of 40 marks and science 2 paper each of 40 marks and 20 marks for practicals for science 1 10 and science 2 10 in this way you are having 100 marks total for science now i am going to start the first chapter of science 1 that is the laws of motion regarding motion we have studied so many things last year now there are some examples given in the book the flight of a bird a stationary train leaves flying through air a stone lying on hill in all these examples where you observe the motion obvious the flight of a bird you can see then a stationary train it is not in motion so it is in the word it is written that is stationary means it is not moving it is not in motion then leaves flying through air you can see those leaves movement of those leaves and a stone lying on a hill then that stone is also a stationary stone then then you cannot see the motion there now i am walking from one class to another class means i am in motion if i am traveling in the train or in the bus some person is sitting beyond me is that person in motion definitely you can say that the person or i am also not in motion but train is in motion so motion you can explain in terms of the movement of the object or we can say there is motion only when according to the surrounding the object changes its place object goes from one place to another place then we can say that the object in is in motion so when any object is in motion or it is in moving means from going from one point to another point it travels or it covers some distance from one point to another point one example is given every day you come to school that you know very well then here also Sheetal and Prashant they are brother and sister Prashant goes directly to school but Sheetal what does she she every day goes to Sangeeta's house and after going to Sangeeta's house both the friends they go to school means actually their aim is to go to school they are all moving these three persons or three friends they are moving but Prashant has covered how much distance 1300 meter distance from his home house or to school then Sheetal goes from her house to Sangeeta's house. How much distance it is? It is 500 meter. And then both these friends, they go to school. Means that distance is 1200 meter. Or she has covered, or both these friends, they have covered the path of 1200 meter. That is the length of the path is 1200 meter. But Sheetal, now see, all these three are going to school. Sheetal covers 500 meter first and then covers 1200 meter means from her going to school she tell from, from her home she covers 1700 meter distance but actually from her home the distance of the school is 1300 meter and Sangeeta has covered the distance of 1200 meter maximum distance is covered by Sheetal from her home to Sangeeta's home then to the school and Prashant directly goes to school. What is their starting point from the home to the school? But in this example, Sheetal has covered the more distance. But the point between the two is the same. The initial point and the final point, they are same. But Sheetal has covered the more distance, that is 500 plus 1200 meter. Now, 
there is distance and displacement concept in the science. Distance means actual path covered from one point to another point. What is the length of the path path that is covered from one point to another point? Means actual path from Sheetal's house to the school is 1300 meter. From Sangeeta's house it is 1200 meter. But Sheetal, as she goes to Sangeeta's house, she has covered 1700 meter distance. Now, distance, you write down the definition. It is the length of actual path traveled by an object in motion while going from one point to another point. That is the distance. Here, Prashant has covered 1300 meter distance, Sheetal has covered 1700 meter distance and Sangeeta has covered 1200 meter distance. That is the length of the actual path that is called the distance. Then another concept is there that is the displacement. All these three fellows that is Sheetal, Prashant and Sangeeta they are going to school. Means from Sheetal's home or Prashant's home the distance of the school is 1300 meter. Means if they go directly, Prashant and Sheetal directly go to school, the displacement will be only 1300 meter. And Sangeeta's displacement for, from her house to school is 1200 meter. That is the minimum distance between the starting and finishing point. From the starting point, it is 13. 100 meter for Sheetal and Prashant and for Sangeeta it is 1200 meter that is just the di this difference between the distance and displacement you can say that suppose one more example I will give you I am having a garden which is having a circular path the radius of the garden or that circular path is 100 meter. I am starting from the point A and I travel or I walk in this way. If I complete one round means how much distance I have covered? I have covered how much distance? That you have to calculate. That is the circumference of the circle or cir circular path in the path. So, circumference of the circle the formula you know put down the value of r and i have covered this much distance but here my displacement is if i complete one round two round whatsoever maybe one round this much distance will come 100 meter 2 into pi into 100 that distance i have covered if i complete two rounds then you have to double it means that is the distance I have covered. But my displacement is what here? You might have understood. The displacement means I have returned to the same point. Means displacement here is 0. I have covered distance. What much suppose? 1 round, the circumference. 2 round, double of that. 3 round, the triple of that. But actual displacement of me is 0 here. Means distance and displacement they are having certain this difference and they are an scalar and vector quantities that we have studied last year scalar and vector quantities scalar quantity you know very well it requires the quantity which is expressed by telling only the magnitude and vector quantity means the quantities which are expressed by Telling or by considering the distance, by considering the magnitude and the direction. Means when we speak of the displacement, direction is necessary. But when we speak of the distance, there is only the magnitude. How much length of the path I have covered? That is the distance. But displacement requires the direction. So they are called the scalar and vector quantities. Now, the speed of the object. One more example also we can take here. Suppose a car, here is a car that is going straight in this direction. Again, as it is going in this direction, it is returning back in this direction. Suppose this distance is 200 meter 
the star car goes from point A to point B. Means from point A to point B, it has covered 200 meter distance. But from point B, again it is returning back. Means again 200 meter distance it has covered. Means length of the actual path covered by the car is suppose 400 meter. But during this peak of the displacement here, displacement is zero. Now the speed of the object, speed and velocity. Speed, do you know? So we say that very speedily I came to school. So you can increase your speed, you can decrease your speed. So speed means total distance covered by the object in the time or in unit time. Total distance. First time you can write anything divided by time required. So speed of the object, car, anything you can take object which is in motion if we want to calculate the speed of the that object in motion then you have to calculate how much distance it has covered in the given time suppose this car requires 5 minutes or 10 minutes you can take for 200 meter from point a to point b then again from point a b to point a it has taken again 10 minutes this total for 400 meter distance it has taken 20 minutes or it requires 20 minutes so that is the speed of the car but when we speak of the velocity means again i have told you distance is the scalar quantity displacement is the vector quantity covered in a particular time or time required for that but covering particular distance velocity requires the direction in that particular direction how much time it requires that is called the velocity so velocity is displacement upon time Displacement, the minimum distance covered by the object in the given time that is called the velocity. So you can write the distance traveled in a particular direction by an object in unit time is called the velocity. You can write the definition. The distance traveled in a particular direction by an object in unit time is called its velocity. So speed is total distance covered in given time and velocity is displacement upon time. The unit for distance and displacement. So on support, sorry, speed and velocity. The unit is the length of the path it has covered so in a unit will be the same for speed and velocity that is si unit you can say thus here you have seen si means standards of international the si unit for speed and velocity is meter per second and cgs unit is centimeter per second so you might have understood what is the difference between distance and displacement. May be asked for writing the differentiation between distance and displacement. Distance is a scalar quantity. Displacement is a vector quantity. 
speed is related to distance velocity is related to displacement now again we come to the first example that sheetal's sheetal is going from her house to sangeeta's house so her speed along the path a means from her house to sangeeta's house distance covered by sheetal is 500 meter in how much time it, she has covered that distance in 5 minutes so the sheetal speed is 100 meter per minute now sheetal speed along path b means from sangeeta's house to school she has taken 24 minutes to cover that distance means the speed of sheetal is 50 meter 50 meter per minute then average speed average speed you have to calculate accordingly that total distance how much total distance she has covered she has covered 1200 plus 500 meter distance means it is 1700 meter distance she has covered in how much minutes 5 minutes plus 24 minutes means 29 minutes then her speed from her house to school that is 58.6 meter per minute now velocity what is the Velocity means displacement upon time, actual displacement or minimum distance between her house and school is 1300 meter. So, displacement upon time, that is Sheetal's velocity is 44.83 meter per minute. So, in this way, you have to calculate speed and velocity. Now, today, we will stop here and next point we will take to tomorrow.